want to automate your data workflows in ADF, then I will give you the exact step that will go from zero to hero in ADF. Step number one, understanding the fundamentals. Understanding the fundamentals will give you the strong base of understanding the complete Azure portal, what is pay as you go model, EAS, PS, CAS, how this cloud architecture is designed as per regions, areas, zones, and many more fundamentals. After understanding the fundamentals, now it's time to understand the four cores. Everything in ADF is built on these four cores. That is link services, data set, activity, and pipeline. Link services, think these are the keys to your data sources. They are your connection strings. Data set, they are the pointers. They tell ADF exactly where your data is located, whether it is located in a specific file or in a specific table. Activities. These are the actions you perform. For example, a copy activity, running the script, transformation of the data. And finally, the pipeline. This is the workflow. This is the logical sequence of the activities that will accomplish your task. Building the copy data pipeline. So here the mission is simple just to move the CSV file from the Azure blob storage container to the another one. So this step will teach us you how to configure the four cores that is the link services, data set, activities and the pipeline. In this step, we will master the data flow transformation. So suppose if your CSV file has got RNS data, bad data. So by using the data flow transformation, we can remove those RNS data, bad data. If you want to join the two sources, yes, we can do that by using the join transformation. If you want to filter out some records, yes, we can do that by using the filter transformation. If you want to divide the data as per condition, yes, we can do that by using the conditional split transformation level up with the control flow if the data flow is the kitchen then the control flow is the brain for your entire factory it orchestrates the task and make your pipeline smart and dynamic let's suppose you got the 100 csv file for the same activity then instead of running the 100 times you run it only for one time by using the for each loop activity yes and that's the roadmap foundation, simple pipelines, data flow, and advanced control flow. So if you want to learn ADF step by step and want to become a confident ADF professional, then on 23rd of August, I'm coming live on YouTube between 4 to 5 p.m. to teach you ADF step by step with the hands-on practical and no PPT. So see you on 23rd of August. If you have any queries re related to this ADF course, you can visit www.questpond.com and chat with us. So thank you and happy learning.